Hey, what's up guys? It's Karani3 here, or Dandude, with another Grand Theft Auto online video. And in this video, I wanted to show how to get the back door off the Insurgent in order to get inside the Insurgent in Grand Theft Auto online. So originally, you could just easily toss a couple sticky bombs on the back door and blow off the Insurgent, but recently you couldn't actually do that anymore and just destroy the Insurgent instead. Uh, rather, it's just very unreliable. So with this easy method, you should be able to get inside the insurgent as you normally were able to before. So first of all, you will obviously need an insurgent, whether it's your own or your friends or anybody in the lobby who's willing to lend you insurgent. Any insurgent will do, as long as it's this type, the one without the machine gun on the back, and as the back hatch door, as you can see. So after you have an insurgent, you'll want to head on over to this point of interest I marked off in the map, in this little junction of alleys over here, in northeastern Los Santos, in downtown Vinewood. So once you find this location and head on over with your insurgent, you're ready for the next step. So you'll want to look out for this corner here that says 0702 and basically take your insurgent and back in right where these two signs are here on the map. I mean on the wall. And when you're backing in the insurgent you want to cut it pretty close to the railing as I'm doing here but at the same time you want to make it so you're backing in diagonally and not straight into the wall. So as you can see, I left a little gap between the insurgent door and the wall. So there's a tiny bit of space there. And once you position your insurgent, you're good to go. And from here, I'm just going to climb on up the stairs towards this pool. And we're ready for the next step. So this part, the reason why I made a little gap between the door and the wall is because I'm going to jump off the stairs like this and try and smoosh myself between the insurgent door and the wall. And this is pretty much the method, so I'm trying to just jam myself between the door and wall in order to smoosh into the door and try and wedge it open. So it's a pretty painless method, at least for me, not my character, but it only takes like 5 seconds per attempt, and anyone can really do it as long as you have an insurgent. But the goal is to actually get the door to jut out a little bit which I just did right there so it only took me a few tries like you saw and you know you did it right when the door actually juts out so this looks like a good position if you're going to try and do it too and just make sure you're able to see that white piece of trash on the ground I guess if you want a reference point but yeah that's how I positioned it and I got the door to creak open a tiny bit and now I'm ready to finally get the door open so from here I'm just gonna carefully pull out the insurgent because the door will now open and it's very unstable, so if you pull out too quickly or make a sharp turn, the door might just slam shut again, and you'll have to repeat the whole process. But at this point, now that it's open, you can see into the back, this is exactly what we want. And just to make sure it stays open, I'm just going to shoot off the back door with the assault shotgun. But any gun will do, I think. And from here, now we got it. So the back door is open, and the hatch is clear to climb into. And that's pretty much it. So now we can climb into the front part of the insurgent. I'll go into first person here to show you. We can see the steering wheel, the console, the seats, everything. And you might be wondering, like, why is this important? I mean, it's not really that important. But originally, it wasn't really a difficult thing to get into the insurgent. But it's a bit more challenging now, especially to do on your own. So with this, you can actually get into other locations. Like, I posted a couple of videos using the insurgent insurgent to get into interiors that were blocked off like the humane labs or the maze bank tower so using this method you can now get into those locations again without any trouble but yeah so now we can drive around and we have a insurgent without a back door which is very useful to help us explore the map more and get into normally blocked off areas but that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and took something out of it that you didn't already know how to do before. And now we have a free insurgent to drive around the map and try and 
get into more interiors and explore more areas and have more fun around Los Santos with. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. And until next time, peace out guys.